Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael. Uh, this is going to be my first Palmade review, and this will be the, one of the first reviews for a new Palmade out there called Fly Dog's Hair Slick. Uh, this Palmade is brand new. It's from one of the guys on the ATP Facebook page. Jason, his name is. Really nice guy. Really good Palmade so far. The smell is amazing. If you like coffee, this is the thing. So here's the tin. This is just a sample, so it's not super decorative. I wouldn't expect it to be. But since this is doing well, apparently, from the reviews I've seen on the Facebook page, it, it might do pretty well. Uh, so it's a coffee scent, but one of, the, one of the problems I'm seeing right now is that since it's brand new and he's, this is his first time doing anything, it smells a little more like beeswax than it does coffee, but the coffee scent is still there. It's just not as strong as I would expect it to be. So, uh... On the paper that I read, the uh, basically kind of a forewarning, it's a heavy hold and it is a is niche to get out as you can see, watch this. I can barely scoop it out and I got that much on my finger just from doing that. So this is gonna be a pretty heavy hold I think. And sorry for the, uh, the sound of the fan, it's attached to the light and I don't really know if you guys want me to turn off the light and breathe and barely be able to see me, so that's a problem. All right, so let's try and dig more of this out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the mountains. Yeah, this is a really strong hold. I'm going to attempt to spread this through my hands, and I do not know how well that's gonna go. <laughs> Actually, on the paper, it had said, uh, sorry if it breaks your comb, essentially. I'm not worried, but it's more like, break my comb? Wow, that's, that's ridiculous. Okay, so hair is damp right now. I always start with damp hair because I have thick, wavy hair, which is kind of a pain in the ass to do a pop roll with sometimes. That's why I use mainly heavier and medium holds. Closer to the heavier side from medium holds. Yeah, this is some heavy stuff. Holy crap. Here, let's try it again. <sighs> Jesus. I'm actually breaking my fingers from getting this out. So, this will be the first review that I do on YouTube, and it will also be the first review that the ATP page sees as a video, I'm pretty sure, for it. It is pretty gummy. Like, it's actually really gummy. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. So application is going to be a bit unpleasant. Um, all right, guys, uh, I'm gonna stop the video here for a moment and I'll be right back, but I'm gonna heat this up so I can actually get it out easier. Okay, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, so I was able to heat it up fairly well, but it is still pretty difficult to get out. So. That's gonna have to be one of the cons of this. This is really, really tough to get out of, uh, out of this tin. So, Jason, when you watch this, just go make it a little easier to get out of the tin, buddy. It is a bitch you get out of here. But I can tell it's gonna be a heavy hold because, yeah, it's sticking up. I have really nothing in my hair right now except maybe a little bit of residue from Ruzel, but comboing that with this, I don't think it's going to affect it too much. Well, upside is, the scent is a lot nicer than Murray's, to be honest. I don't really like Murray's. Murray's is, uh, good for people with, like, disgusting thick hair, thick, curly, nasty hair. Not nasty, but, like, pain in the ass-ish. It's good for them, but not good for me because it rips my hair out. And I would prefer not to go bald right now. The combs that I'm going to be using today are this wide tooth comb. I'm using this for the application because this stuff is tough. I have a wide tooth and small tooth comb combo here. I use this for styling and I use this for detailing. And I have a boar hair brush that I use to like slick down flyaways like that. Although it didn't do that right there. Here, let's see if we can get it better. Yeah, see, there we go. 
Yeah, this is some pretty tough shit so far. I think I'm gonna have to wet comb it. Let's see if I can get any more out. Okay, there we go. After you, as with most pomades, after you break through like the surface, it's a bit easier to get out. But it is still really gummy. Yeah, I didn't think I would have to actually heat it up, but what do you know? I learn something new every day, guys. Even if it's slightly painful. Alright, so this is going to have little to no shine, if any shine, period. Which I don't think it will. It's good stuff so far, it's just thick. In comparison, I'd have to compare the hold in the field to like custom creeps if you guys have ever had that it's a that one is nasty hold it's the one that I had was a uh, it was like a wood scent kind of like mahogany but it was too tough on my hair like if I tried to comb it through it almost broke one of my unbreakable combs yeah this is some crazy stuff Bit of a pain in the ass, but what do you know? It's his first time, so. Alright. Did I? Okay, I think I might have missed that area. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah, this is the color, it's kind of like, it looks like Murray's, except it's not as, I'd say, jelly-like. Oof, wow. Alright, gotta get the back. Yeah, if you never get the back, you're gonna have your hair sticking up all over the place for a day, and that is so not fun. So, I think application is just about done. Did I just get a whole glob of it? Yeah, this is extremely tough stuff. Yeah, if you guys do the uh, second round of his samples that he's going to send out for uh, review, like part two basically, I think we should definitely take into account the fact that we're going to have to heat it up. Because I was not expecting this. It was surprising, in a way. This is good, but super surprising. I didn't think it would be this crazy. And this is going to be a long one. Usually I don't take this long to do my hair. Yeah, I'm actually recording this on Mother's Day, so I might be a bit bad. My mom might be pissed. Okay. I think application is done right about now. I just gotta smooth everything out. Yeah, as you can see, I'm using this side of the comb here for all this works easier and it spreads it out a lot more generously. My god. Well, upside is I can get ridiculous hype for this. <laughs> Ow. That's a lot of hype. The hold is amazing. There's one thing for him. But again, the application and everything else is a bit difficult. So if there's one thing I do have to say, is you're gonna have to heat it up, or at least if he, when he does a second round, like tone it down. Because this is pretty crazy. 
Ah, mighty. I do not think I'm going to be able to slip all this down. Well, upside is, I haven't broken my, any of my comb yet. <laughs> I think it just broke in front of my scalp. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if the wide tooth helps anymore. Okay, so I heated up the pomade and it helped a lot more. It melted it so I could actually get it to slip down a little bit more. But still... It is some gnarly stuff. Right, so I think I'm done styling right now. I have the pump itself. I have the uh, behind the pump slipped down. I got the height that I want, and it is some actually really good height. Oh, there's another pro. Uh, this is some really nice height to it. All right, so I'm gonna use the boar hair brush on this. Slip down all the flyaways that I see, which is unfortunately for me a lot. Yeah. You see all that? Either I screwed up on the application process, or this is just not really good for my hair. <laughs> I think it might be my screw up. Yeah, this is a real good start to the video, huh? I got to zip up all those like splits. Okay, I think I'm done right now. It is interesting to say the least. So I'll do a spin around basically give you a whole view of my hair. It's all you want me to do it again. Because <laughs> I'm running on too fast. This is my first pomade review, so take all of this with a grain of salt, or at least a pound of salt. I think I'm done. Uh, so my opinion on this sample, it is the styling aspect, like the height that I have and the shape is great. It's fantastic. But the application and just the density of the stuff is ridiculous. You actually have to heat this up to really get the use out of it, which I didn't do. So that's my fault. But all in all, it's a good pomade. It's a, it's his first one, so can't be too harsh on him. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do the second round of samples. And if when he starts actually selling it, I'll probably buy some. So, that's that. My name is Michael. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a pretty long one. Forgive me for that, but I'll see you guys next time.